What's going on Tamers? So today is finally the day. The EX3 Dragon's War set drops for the Digimon TCG in Japan and I could not be more excited. I got up this morning, first thing, crack of dawn, took a shower, went to the card shop, ventured out to the brutal Tokyo Heat and picked up a couple of boxes. And I'm gonna be opening up one of those boxes exclusively for the YouTube channel today. Now, if you wanna take a look at some of the other box openings we're gonna be doing for Dragon's Roar or some other Digimon TCG content, as well as other card game and fighting game content, you can take a look at my description below where I've got a link to my Twitch channel. Go ahead over there, follow the channel so you know when I go live and I'll see you there. Anyway, taking a look at Dragon's Roar as a set, this really does provide a ton of support to a lot of older decks as well as opens up the doors for new archetypes across colors in this set. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, so taking a look at the desk cam here, you can take a look at the actual box itself. It's actually quite a bit smaller than you would expect to see from a Japanese uh, box set. This is because the EX series themselves, this being EX3, are the in-betweens for some of the box sets that come out. Uh, usually you'll get between two giant box sets, you'll get either an EX drop here, which has a total of 74 different kinds of cards, or you'll get something like two starter decks that drop in the case where we had, for example, I think in the E inside, you guys got Mastemon and uh, the Imperial Dramon deck. And uh, here over here, the previous one we got was the Ragnarok as well as the Jessmon. So taking a look at the box art here, you can actually see some of the cards that are featured in here. Again, all dragon type. This really does focus on dragons as a whole. Digimon with the Drummon in their name is going to be the focus here. You can see the Giamon, you can see the Angumon and the Vimon, as well as the Chaos Dramon or Chaos Doramon, depending on whatever region you're in, who provides support for the old Mugen Dramon or Machine Dramon. So yeah, lots of cool stuff in this box that I'm really excited to get into. So let's just crack this bad boy open. All right, so it took a little bit longer than I thought to actually get that open. I got to find like a better pairing knife or something to get these uh, things cracked open faster in the future. But uh, opening this bad boy up, you can see here we've got first the box topper, which uh, includes a foil version of any of the cards you see here. Additionally, there's a low chance of getting a special Imperial Dramon card. It's like a reprint, but it's done in the old Digimon card game style. If you guys are uh, boomers like me, then you'll remember that game from way back in the day. But that card's actually quite valuable. So hopefully, that's what we'll find in here. And then we've also got the... Ooh, 12 packs in here as well. What's really nice about these EX sets for the JP side is that uh, our packs don't normally come with 12 cards. It comes with, I think, like six to eight. I can't, wow, it's weird that I can't remember now. I guess it's it has been a while since I've actually opened some packs up. Um, but yeah, we typically don't get 12 cards in a pack, so this is kind of nice. So it feels like I'm playing a bit on the uh, on the E inside, getting like a ton of cards per pack. I'm not sure what the splits are for the boxes or the packs yet, so we'll have to find out as we go along. So before we actually get into the card packs themselves, let's take a look and focus on the box topper for just a moment. Again, it could be any one of these six cards plus the seventh potential parallel uh, Imperial Dramon card, which would be fantastic to pull. But if I can't get him, then I think my second option is going to be either the Pile Dramon or the Dino Bimon. Both of these guys support the new Imperial Dramon that's like red-purple, which is kind of cool. And uh, honestly, it'd be great to get either one of those guys. So anyway, let's take a look here and open this bad boy up, see what we can get. I've had pretty awful luck so far with these bad boys, but let's see if we can get something nice here. Hey, actually, pretty dang good. Pile Dramon is actually one of the cards we were looking for. And again, if you want to know more about what these cards do, I did a full stream where we did a complete review of this set. If you want to take a look, I've uploaded the VOD to YouTube as well. To be honest, it is a little long, but uh, if you want to learn about all the decks and all the potential support that all the decks in current rotation are getting, then uh, I definitely would check it out. Taking a look at the Pile Dramon here, Fantastic guy. Again, joggers from two level fours is such a low bar and so good, so fast. Getting to level five for free is really strong, and you can get to your level sixes right after that in the Imperial Dramon, right? With the box topper taken care of, let's actually hop into these 12 packs here. I'm gonna split these up six and six. We'll do the first six, we'll take a look and review, and then we'll go through the last six after that. So let's hop into it. Cards I'm looking for specifically, uh, going to be the uh, Dark Dramon, a little bit of Command Dramon support that came out for this set. Uh, the Hydramon, look, green has not been great here in Japan for a long time. And I would love for it to have its, you know, its heyday back in the sun, for uh, lack of a better pun. Imperial Dramon, Fighter Mode, the second version, you know, Joggers Boogaloo. Uh, ooh, only the nastiest opens here. <laughs> I can never get these things open, I swear, man. The ones in the Ian e version must be made out of paper because the ones in the Japanese version are almost impossible to open. Holy crap. So finally getting into it, we've got God Flame, Chris Biel Dramon, some Source Strip support, Megiddo Flame, Agumon. New Agumon looks really cool. Uh, 
Shadoramon? I don't even know. <laughs> I've never seen this guy before, but uh, apparently he was a thing back in uh, the old Digimon with uh, Wormmon, so I'll take your word for it. Sanizamon, Majiramon, for oh, X Tyrannomon? I think this guy got uh, released when they released him also in Ghost Game, when he became, a, I guess, a character. All right. Vidramon, Cordramon, and ooh, nice hit on the Megidoramon. And then, oh, one more. We also got the Holy Doramon as well. Pretty good hits here. For the Four Great Dragons archetype, these guys are both great cards. I am a little interested in the Four Great Dragons archetype, but uh, it really feels similar to Ragnalord, which I ran in Locals actually earlier this week, and I didn't have the best success with it, but I'll still definitely give a, a, a yellow deck that's not recovery or security control focused a shot. So we'll definitely hop in and uh, give this at least one or two whirls in our Locals. The Four Great Dragons archetype basically revolves around Ajulongmon, uh, Holy Doramon, or I think in English it's Magnadramon, the Megidoramon, as well as uh, Godramon, and getting those guys out every single turn with the Four Great Dragons option card. Hopefully we can pull a couple of those as well so I don't have to go to the card shop and, and buy that. Okay, so we got Ebidoramon. We've got, oh, the Guillemon from the box cover. Pretty good looking guy. Ganimon or Crabmon. The Growlmon as well. I did build uh, the Gallantmon deck when they had EX2 release, and so I might give it another shot. See if I can slide in some of these cards as well. All right. That's the Airdramon, the Pieldramon. Oh, Terriermon here. Look like me on a hot summer day. Volkdramon, the Groundramon. And really good for Eximon here. Eh. Megalo Growlmon, and the first rare here is going to be the Tank Dramon. This is actually a good hit for me. I really want to get all of the new Command Dramon and uh, Debrigade support, so this is a great way to start. And then we're also going to have... Ooh, holy crap! Do we get the Alt Art Imperial Dramon? Dragon? Yo! Super sick! Look at that boy right there. Oh my god, looking clean too? He's also a jogger, so the Pile Dramon that we got before is going to work wonders with this guy. So this is great for me putting get the deck together. Ooh, and the Alt Art Flex, too. You know, I got to stunt when I stunt. <laughs> Shout out to Sasai, always doing good stuff. But uh, yeah, I imagine this guy's going to be pretty popular. The Pile Dramon and the Dino Beamon and the new Fighter Mode that's the secret rare for this set all have had really good positive response from people just taking a look and uh, theory crafting with the deck. So I expect this card to be pretty in demand as well so we're definitely going to get this guy in the deck when we can and give it a whirl here we've got the tropiamon dark tyrannomon the yuki agumon or the snow agumon he's like super sword strip for a bunch of stuff and then hey commandermon what's up buddy this guy's got decoy so if one of your other commandermon uh or deep brigade digimon would be destroyed you can get rid of him instead and then uh yeah that digimon's not destroyed or deleted Patamon here, looking clean. He's also useful, I think, in the Four Great Dragons deck. Parsamon, or Parsormon, I think, in English. Flare Lizamon. Laser Cannon. Dude, the artwork for this card is so sick. It's almost like a 3D artwork in 2D. It's really nice. D did evolve one and then uh, destroy, I think, a five cost or lower. Yeah, five cost or lower. Anja Woman. Now the Cordramon here, good for the Examon set. Blue green is nice. And hey, the Hina Tamer. I haven't really thought about her synergy for a lot of the decks so far, but the way she reads, it feels like she could be really useful for pretty much any dragon in this set. So we'll have to see how she works and slots into the decks. Also, is the cut weird on this card or is it just me? That seems a little it's a little shallow on the top there. Maybe it's just me. No, it looks alright. And then the second rare we've got is Ooh, Dorbicamon. So it's actually one of the cards that I think functions with Hina here. So this guy is a uh, 13 cost, and he gets uh, rush on play. I was thinking, well, how do you get the rush effect if he's 13 cost? Because your turn would automatically end. Well, he has Digicross 2 for a bunch of dragons. So um, <laughs> you play five dragons on the board or from your hand up under him, and then he becomes a three cost. And then, uh, yeah, then you can get the actual rush effect. All right, cracking into pack four. We've got another Gold Flame here. Hey, uh, Flare Dramon, useful for the purple purple uh, red stuff another agumon make it flame cyber Dodomon keeps getting support but i really don't like justimon but uh for the justimon fans out there this is for you i suppose 
the Shade Doramon, the Crispy Eldramon, Parsormon, oh, Jazz. Jazadoramon, or Jazadomon, excuse me. I haven't seen this guy since like the black starter deck came out, so it's cool to see this card actually get some more artwork and some more support. Uh, Sorai, or Blue Flame, or Blue Thunder, and ooh, what's this? Slayer Dramon? Ah, yeah, so Slayer Dramon is one of the cards you need for the Examon deck, so he's gonna be good, just even as a rare. And let's see what our last card is going to be. It's, oh, hey, Volk Dramon? Volcanic Dramon, excuse me. So I talked a little bit about the red, black, and uh, Hina before. He could be very useful for that. I don't suspect that the red, black deck will be too powerful, given the current metagame is pretty fast, and it feels like it needs a lot of time to set up, but I'll definitely give it a shot. This plus Hina plus the red stuff, like the Jazz of Dormon that we saw before, could be really interesting, and the Dorbikmon as well. So I'll see what I can do with this guy, but uh, I don't imagine this will be a Tier 1 deck. But, you know, we don't, we don't always sweat over here, so sometimes you just play to have a good time. Okay, here, Flare Lizamon, Ebidoramon, Patamon again. We've got the Pildramon, Sunrizamon, Ganimon, or Crabmon in English. Airdramon again, another Giamon here. Hey, Missimon is nice. Gonna need a couple more copies of this guy, so shout outs to him. And hey, look at that! Found his brother! Pile of Dramon again, not bad. This one's only uncommon, so it's easier to get these guys. And then we've got Avalon's Gate. That's what, yeah, yeah. So the, the option card for, for Examon, Avalon's Gate. And then finally, ooh, Mega Seedramon. So Blue has gone back to their play Digimon from your sources as other Digimon effects. They got a bit of a buff in this set, and he's one of the cards that helps out with that. Being able to play level 3 up under him for free. But uh, I don't know if that deck's going to be making too many of the rounds. But we'll, we'll definitely uh, see how it performs. All right, last pack before we go into halftime here. Got the Volcdramon. I feel like I'm getting all the pieces I need for Red Black, so. The Jiramon. Maybe that Volcanic Dramon is going to be pretty useful. Snow Agumon. Another Laser Cannon. Groutmon. <laughs> Teirumon. Dark Tyrannomon. Tropiamon. I really hope Green is good this set, man. Hey! Vorvomon, who's useful for the red black deck we got bef we saw before. And hey, nice, a Dino Beamon. All right. Again, only on common in set, which is fantastic. They're opening up joggers to less rare cards, which means more people will be able to play and uh, have fun with joggers. So that's always a good thing. And then our first rare here is going to be the Aero Beedramon. Good for the four great dragons archetype. And then finally, oh, another, hey, Tank Dramon. good, 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 good. Do need. So more Tank Dramon, the better. Although I would. I would be really happy if we could get our hands on one of those uh, Dark Dramons. Also, side thing, am I the only person who keeps at least one of the uh, memory counters from all the sets? So I've got one for every single set. I'm going to hold on to these as well. I usually sleeve them up and put them together, and then whenever I, uh, I'm playing online or remotely, or I go to the, one of the card shops and I don't have my mat with me, I just pull one of these bad boys out. It's always kind of nice. I wish they made them of like uh, you know a little bit higher quality cardboard, but it is what it is, right? So taking a look at halftime, I think the biggest win here was definitely the Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode Alt Art. That is so nice. Uh, other than that, though, the, Vol the Volcanic Dramon was alright. We also got a little bit of support from the uh, Dorbikmon and the Hina Tamer, as well as the Double Tank Dramon hit, which is uh, good for the D-Brigade archetype that we're going to try and run a little bit later. That might be the first deck that I make and try out at Locals. I think it's, just, it's super cheap to make, it's super simple. Uh, D Brigade's always been a favorite of mine, so I'd love to try and run it again. We also got a couple things for the yellow uh, Great Dragon support. We've got so, two of the actual Great Dragons themselves of the four we need. We got a little bit of Examon support, and then we've also got the Mega Seedramon for blue. So not that bad. I, I, I imagine that the second half of these uh, packs are actually going to be a bit more stacked. So we've only seen... One SR, and then the alt art for the set. So I don't think we'll see an alt art or a secret rare, but I do expect to see some super rares. Okay, second half is here. We're going to open up these last six packs for the YouTube. Again, if you want to see more pack and opening stuff, take a look at uh, the description below, and you can find a link to my Twitch channel there. I'm going to be opening up some more packs for this later tonight. And uh, you can take a look. If you missed the actual stream, then you can take a look at the VOD. that will be left up on uh, Twitch as well. So... Always, always, never a clean open. Holy crap. Does anybody else have this problem or is it just me? Okay, so we've got Godflame again. It's always like the first card. It's like the third time this has happened. 
another Commandramon, Aerodramon, Growlmon, Ebidoramon, X Tyranamon, another Tatomon, Sunrizamon, Piledramon, Missymon, and for the rare, we're going to have Hyper Infinity Cannon or Hyper Mugen Cannon. I like Mugen, it sounds a little bit better. It sounds a little cooler. Uh, useful for Chaos uh, Doramon as well as the yeah, Machine Dramon deck. And then finally, we're going to get, oh, Trial of the Four Great Dragons. Cool, 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 cool. So this is the option card that you're going to need for the Trial of the Four Great Dragons deck, basically the yellow archetype for this set. And uh, I need two more copies. It allows you to basically play, like play a, one of those dragons, one of those like 12 cost dragons for free for one turn. The dragon is unfortunately destroyed after that, but you can kind of use this card's effect to kind of like keep looping dragons every single turn. So very, very useful. <clears throat> so we've got Peldramon, Petropiamon, Majiramon, Yuki Agumon or Snow Agumon, Dark Tyranamon, Flarizamon, another Laser Cannon, Parsoamon, cool, cool, another Dinobimon that's good. Need those hits. Vorvamon, and then we've got another rare, Dorbakemon, and for the second rare, we're gonna have, ooh, a Breakdramon. The Examon deck, in my opinion, is probably one of the strongest decks in this archetype. And uh, getting these cards, although they're, they themselves are, are pretty okay, Examon kind of just puts the entire archetype over the top. So this guy is going to be very needed if I want to build that deck, and I do want to build that deck. So. <laughs> All right, we've got another Ganymon. We've got the Patamon here. Volkdramon. Another Giamon. Make it a Flame. Agumon here. Shout out to the Rio call out in the, in the artwork there. That's super, uh, super nice, super niche. Like if you know about Digimon, then like that's a that's a call out there. Gold Flame, Jazamon. I love Jazamon's artwork. I think it's just a cool looking card and just an interestingly designed Digimon. So I'd love for it to actually have like a maybe like its own theme deck outside of just like red, red, black that we have in this set. Nice Dracomon. Good Examon support. We've got the Ah Jazarihimon. Again, super useful for the red black. So I think I feel like we're just getting all the cards we need for that deck. And then finally. Oh my it has two secret rares? I didn't know that. Holy crap, we got Examon? Yo! That's so sick. I did not expect for this to happen. I thought we were only gonna get one secret rare or one altar in a box, not one of each. Holy crap, Examon is such a coded pull right here. Holy crap. I'm sweating. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now that I've calmed down, Examon here, such a fantastic card to set. Honestly, I think he's the best card in EX3. Him allowing you to, again, you have to joggers to get to him. But if you can joggers this guy out, two level sixes, one green, one blue, then you get access to playing for free a 12,000 or lower DP Dragon Digimon. So super flexible right there. There's pretty much every card, almost every card in this set allows you to play him. Uh, be played with him uh, with a couple of exceptions and then whenever he would be rested once per turn you can unrest him and then rest one of your opponent's Digimon so he gets two attacks if you can drop a security attack plus one up under him or give him a uh, security attack plus one effect and he's instantly just clearing out a ton of security this guy is so so good this is so nice I'm so happy about this all right moving along we've here got another Saber Dodomon we've got the Crispy Eldramon I just like the way the Crispy Eldramon line looks and going into Hexablau as well I'm glad I kept my Hexablaster. I think he might see a return in this set. Sword stripping might be a thing again, now that people have kind of calmed down on the X-Antibody stuff. Another X-Tyranomon, Evidoromon, oh, Aerovidromon again. Oh. Plesiomon. Again, useful for the uh, play Digimon from this card sources. Oh, Pomomon. This guy's nice. He's got a good effect, despite the fact that he got the nasty drip on the... <laughs> the low IQ drip on the, on the face. Uh, Hyper Infinity Cannon, and oh, we got another one, dude! This this box is so coded. Holy crap! Imperial Dramon Dragon on here. We got the regular one as the alt art before, and now we've got this guy here alongside him. I, I, again, both artworks look super sick. The alt art though, the nice like special foiling. It's hard to see here, but it's got a special foiling on the front. It's like that texture foiling is nice. This guy again, the artwork I think is super sick as well. Sunnyzamon, another Commander. I think this might be the fourth one, third or fourth. So I think I've got the set there. Tropiamon, another Patamon here. Ganymon, 
Flare is on. Blazer Cannon. Dark Tyrannomon. Ooh. Wing Dramon? So this guy is useful for the Examon deck. So you saw the Breaker Dramon before, the Break Dramon before. Uh, he's the green side, then the Wing Dramon here is the uh, blue side. So very useful. Nice! Finally got a Seals Dramon. So the old Seals Dramon had uh, Blocker. This one has Jamming, which I think is infinitely better. All right. Mega C Dramon. And we're going to. Hey! It's Vmon. What's up, buddy? You look like me playing the Digimon card game. <laughs> what do these cars do? <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Nice little bit of card draw. He's also super useful for the Imperial Dramon deck, so I'm definitely going to use him. You can see he comes from not only red, but also purple. So it really makes the uh, the way you can build this deck pretty varied. So super excited for that. All right, and we're at the last pack here. I'm going to crack open this bad boy. Can we see the uh, last SR in this one? Do we, do we have any more SRs left over? I don't, I don't actually know the pull rates for this pack, so... It, uh, or the pull rate for the box, rather. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be a nice little surprise that we got the SR here. But let's crack it open. Yukiagumon. Growlmon. Parasormon. Volktramon. Terumon. Gidumon. Flaydramon. Another Cyberdoramon. Don't know why. <laughs> Baby Doramon, all right. This guy is also useful for uh, Examon, but I think there are maybe better eggs you could run. All right, we're going to have the uh, Ravorvamon. And for the first rare, we're going to have another uh, Avalon Gate here. And then finally, the last rare for the set is... <sighs> Ooh, Metallic Dramon? So this is the Jazzamon level six here. Again, you see it comes from red or black. Red, black being a color is really interesting here. There's a lot of cards that already kind of fit that synergy, and so you can just kind of slot these in as well. The effect here is D-Digivolve one, and then after that, delete the five cost or lower Digimon. And then if you can't delete a Digimon from this effect uh, during your opponent's next turn, or until the end of your opponent's next turn, uh, your opponent's active Digimon cannot evolve. <laughs> That's that's pretty powerful effect. Uh, hey, if you're active, then you, you just can't digivolve. So you have to swing first, pray you live the security swing, and then you can digivolve. Uh, and then also on your opponent's turn, if you have a tamer, this digimon gets blocker and reboot. Fantastic effect. Fantastic. I'm glad they're finally giving black cards uh, blocker and reboot together because that's infinitely more useful than just one or the other, right? So I gotta say, I really think that the second half of this box was way better than the first. Of course, we got the alt art for the first half, but the second half gave us Eggsamon. We also got a ton of the super rare cards in the Metallic Dramon. We got another Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, which we so desperately need for the deck. And then we got the, some of the support for Eggsamon and things like the Break, Break Dramon as, as well as the Avalon's Gate. We also managed to pull the first copy of the uh, Four Great Dragons, Trial of the Four Great Dragons uh, option card. So that's going to be useful for that archetype. And then a couple more infinity, Hyper for Infinity Cannons for Chaos Dramon slash Mugen Dramon slash Machine Dramon. So that's going to be our box opening for the EX3 Dragon's Roar set for the Digimon TCG. Based off of what I got here, I'm super, super happy. I got the Examon, the Alt Art Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, as well as the second copy of the Dragon Mode. Tons of cards for a lot of the other archetypes, including the Four Great Dragons, the Examon support cards. Also, I got a ton of the Command Dramon stuff for D-Brigade. So really looking forward to that. I still would have hoped to have pulled a Hydramon, a uh, Dark Dramon, or the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Imperial Dramon uh, Fighter Mode, the second secret rare for this set. But uh, yeah, I, I have a couple more boxes to crack into, which means there's always a chance there, and based off of the spread of the pull rates for this box, I'm very excited to hop in and crack those open as well. Now, if you want to experience those box openings with me, feel free to look in the description below and to find a link to my Twitch channel. Follow the Twitch channel there so you, you know when I go live and we can pull those together. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you felt about the pulls in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.